Hey everybody, so this is Unit 4, Module 3, Session 1, Homework. Um, kind of like this one. There's some We're looking for patterns. We're going to chunk some numbers and see if it makes sense. So um, let's just start right from the beginning. And remember, if you get it, um, stop it, try it, and then ch use uh, press play to check the answers. Um, so check it out. It looks like quarters here. And it looks like they want to know the total amount of money in this array. Um, so if you get it, just, you can count it up. There's different ways. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to count it up. So I know that there are four in a dollar and there are four sets of four. So I'm not doing any multiplication except basically one times four. And I believe there's four dollars there. Okay. And there's my explanation of this circle up above it. So they want to use that array to solve these problems. So think about this. If there's four 25s, so let's go back up there. Let's use a different color. We'll highlight it, we think. Four 25s. So um, that's a dollar, but it's also 100 cents, right? So every four is 100. So let's skip down to E. See that? There's eight. So there's two fours. Every four is a hundred, so it's two hundred. Any more multiples of four? Oh, right here. See it? So how many fours are in twelve? Well, there's three of them, so it's three hundred. So let's go back. Um, I was talking to some of you guys earlier in the week, and you saw the pattern: four, six, eight. The thing I want you to notice is six. So at four is a hundred. There's two more twenty fives. That's one hundred fifty. Um, at eight you had uh, two hundred. Well, at ten it's two more, so it's fifty more, right? So two hundred fifty. And then at fourteen, so there's twelve at three hundred. At fourteen is two more, so that's three hundred fifty. See the pattern? One hundred, one hundred fifty, two hundred, two hundred fifty, three hundred, three hundred fifty. All right, uh, let's go to Rosie. I'm going kind of fast. So remember, um, stop it, try them, and then press play to check your answers. Or you go to Google Classroom, and we have our answers in there. So Rosie says that she can solve 24 by 25 using the information above. Do you agree with her? Um, okay. Hmm. Well, 24 by 25. 24 times 25. Well, look at this. I have 10 by 25, and I have 14 by 25. You could do that, right? 10 by 25 equals 2. Oh, that's a multiplication sign. Silly me. Equals 250. And then 14 times 25, we already said, was uh, 350. <clears throat> so what that means is 24 times 25 equals 600 okay I think that equals 600 so <clears throat> a lot of different ways you can look at that um, you could also do you could double 12 times 25 you could also take the 4 times 25 up here and do 6 of those all kinds of different ways that should be my answer if I get there all right, let's keep going. I'm going kind of fast. Make sure you try these. In fact, you should probably pause it and try these right now, right after I talk about it. Um, use what you know about adding and multiplying money to help solve the multiplication problems below. Um, right here on this problem right here, they knew there are four 25s and 100, four quarters and a dollar, and 36 is equal to nine groups of four, right? Because nine times four equals 36. So that is 900 pennies, $9, but 900, 900 pennies. Um, I believe we just did 25 times 24, but we didn't answer it, did we? So how many 25s, how many groups of, so 24, 24 is how many groups of four? Six groups of four. So if that's six, Groups of four, every group of four is a hundred, so that's six hundred. Um, 
Next one. How many groups of four in there? Well, it's eight times four, right? So I believe that's 800. Um, 25 times 40, 10 groups of four. So 10 times 100 is um, 1,000. Oh, 34 groups. Well, we already knew that 32 groups was 800. So 34 is 50 more. So I'm going to say 850. I should I be checking my work, right? Ooh, 50s. I love that. 50 times 2, 100. 50 times 16. Well, every 2 is 100, right? So this is um, 8 times 2. So I believe it's 800. Um, okay, how many... Well, so this is, every two is 100. This is equal to 12 times two. So I think it's equal to 1,200 or 1,200. 50 times 32. Ah, I just noticed something too. We keep taking half of the, um, the non-50 number. Or I could also do, um, there is eight times four. Excuse me, not eight. well, but I want two. So it's 16 times two. And then that would be 1,600. Ooh, this is a good one. We just knew this one, right? The next one is 50 times 33. Well, we know that's that one is 1,600. So this is just 50 more. 50 times 17. Um, let's make an even number. So minus 1 equals 16. So that right there is 800. So 50 times um, 16 equals 800. And then 50 times 1, 850. Oh, that was really bad writing. What do you guys think? 850? Yeah. 75 times 2. So I have 3 quarters plus 3 quarters, 150 cents. 75 times 16. Oh, so every one is 75. Every two is $1.50. How do you want to do this? Hmm. Every three is 225. Every four, four equals four times 75 equals um, 300, All right? How many fours on there? Four times four. Four times 300 is 1,200. What do you think, did I get it? Whew, I think I did. All right, we still got some time. So these are, let's just treat them like fractions, right? So this is 100 times 1 fourth, a fourth of 100. Right, is a quarter. So it equals 25. Um, so one fourth is the same thing as 0.25. So I want to divide 600 by four. Well, 600 divided by two is uh, 300, and then 300 divided by two is 150. 150. Um, now 240. Three fourths of two hundred forty. Let's do let's do this because that's three fourths, right? So I'm gonna go two hundred forty, and I know that half is one hundred twenty, and half of that is sixty. Oops. Um. So I don't want this one. So three fourths of that is one eighty. Yeah. Okay. Three fourths of two three hundred sixty. Same thing. Draw my picture. Take your time. Draw a picture. Um, I know this is 180. No, this is 180. So this is 90, 90, 90. So that is whatever 90 times 3 is, 270. All right, guys. Um, hopefully you tried them all. Um, hopefully you paused it sometimes and you uh, tried it yourself. If you didn't do it this time, the next time, please definitely try and do that. All right, take care, guys.